Hi chess players, today's video we're going to be looking at the horse race. The horse race is a miniature game in which each player gets one knight and the objective is to race your knight to the opposite corner faster than your opponent does. So this is a game that helps beginner chess players learn how the knight moves, but it can also be a good tool to helping us to understand that coming up with a plan of where we want our knights to move, not just where can they move on our next turn, but if we want to get a knight to a particular square, how do we go about finding the best way to get that knight there? Uh, we learned in the How the Pieces Move video that knights move three squares in the shape of an L, and it's a very unique movement. No other chess piece moves like that. And for new chess players, it can be a little bit difficult to see where those knights are going to jump to and formulate plans as to how they're going to get their knight to a square of their choice. So again, this knight is trying to get to h8, the opposite corner, before the black knight reaches a1. So let's go ahead and make our first move. We want to get our knight closer to that square. Let's say the knight moves to b3 and black responds with knight to g6. So again, we want to get our knight closer to that square. We don't want to go further away with moves like this. Um, we know that we want to get closer, so let's move knight to c5. Okay, let's say black moves knight to e5, and now white is going to move knight to e6. And for the new chess players out there, remember a knight doesn't capture what it jumps over, it only captures what it lands on. And it's the only piece that can jump over other pieces. Okay, next up, let's say black moves. One, two, three, and now our knight has gotten fairly close to the square that we need to get on, but we need to have a plan of how to get there. What I mean is, if we just move randomly, let's say one, two, three, well, we've gotten closer to that square, but we're not going to be able to get to that square on our next move. So let's take it back a move and work on getting uh, a plan together to get our knight to h8. So something that's common in chess is starting with the goal and working backwards. What I mean is we could try to look at all the different squares this knight can move to. It can certainly move to a lot of squares, but maybe an easier way and what I recommend is to start by looking at the square you would like the knight to go on and try to work backwards. For example, if we already had a knight on h8, that knight could move 1, 2, 3 to g6. And if it had another move, 1, 2, 3, it could go to f8. So can our knight jump to f8 now and then follow that path backwards? Absolutely. So now that we see if we were on our h8 square in one, two, three moves, we could get our knight there. So let's go ahead and move our knight to f8. And let's say black moves their knight to a3. And just like we planned, this is our goal. So one, two, three, if we can get to g6, we can get to h8 and we can certainly get to g6. And same with the other player. Again, how are we going to get this black knight? Now let's put ourselves in black shoes. How do we get our knight to a1? Well, let's work backwards. If there was a knight on a1, one, two, three. Well, if we can get to c2, then we can jump to a1, and that's our goal. Can we get to c2? We certainly can. One, two, three. And white to move and win, of course, it is knight to h8 and we have reached our goal and the white pieces would have won this horse race. So good practice for beginner chess players to practice with the knight and come up with plans to get that knight to a specific square that you want to. And a good review for any chess player that we should not be looking at just the squares that knight can jump to in one move but how do we get that knight to its optimum square, right? Optimal square. How do we get that knight to the square that we want to get it to? So I hope you guys enjoyed the horse race. I encourage you to try this out 
at home, and I will see you next time.